Before the era of electric vehicles, we basically had just four manufacturers of hypercars. Bugatti, Koenigsegg, SSC North America, and Hennessy. However, the limitless capabilities of EV powertrains have spawned a legitimate arms race between young startups and established automakers, who now deliver new electric hypercars at an astonishing pace. In this video, we'll make a quick summary of the already existing models that will soon be measuring their power outputs in megawatts and speeds in mocks, just like supersonic jets. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and join us on the quest of advancing the electric revolution. Enjoy the ride! Remats Nevera Designed and built completely in-house, the final version of the Remats Concept 2 claims to be the fastest production electric car in the world. Named after a sudden Croatian storm charged by lightning, the Nevera speeds to 60 in 1.85 seconds, reaches 186 mph in 9.3, and tops out at 258 mph. Its power comes from four permanent magnet motors linked to two single-speed gearboxes and a 120 kWh battery pack that produces a total of 1,914 horses and 1,741 pound-feet. The bodywork of the Cyper car gets active aero front and rear and features multiple functional air vents. The Nevera has the largest carbon fiber monocoque in the world, with only the crushed structures made of metal. The car is also fitted with adaptive dampers, all-wheel torque factoring, and an extremely efficient regenerative braking system. Lotus Avaya the first Lotus to be driven by an all-electric powertrain starts a new era in the company's history. Limited to just 130 units, the Avaya pushes the boundaries of modern hypercar tech with its porous bodywork inspired by Le Mans race cars. It features countless intakes, vents, and rear venturi tunnels that guide the air through the body, ensuring immense dynamic downforce. The Avaya weighs less than 3,700 pounds, thanks to an ultralight carbon fiber monocoque and magnesium wheels. This Lotus is used by a mid-mounted 70 kWh battery pack and four electric motors that churn 2,027 horsepower and 1,254 pound-feet of torque. Its all-electric range is 215 miles, top speed over 200 mph and 0 to 60 under 3 seconds. Automobili Estrema Fulminea From Italian, the name of this newly established manufacturer translates as Extreme Automobiles, while the moniker of the brand's first creation stands for Lightning Fast. Indeed, the upcoming hypercar promises blistering acceleration, taking less than 10 seconds to speed to 200 mph from a standstill. This is made possible by a 2040 horsepower all-wheel drive system with quad-electric motors and a revolutionary hybrid battery. Measuring 100 kWh in capacity, the pack combines solid-state cells from Avesta battery energy engineering and ultra-capacitors, allowing for unprecedented energy density of 450 Wh per 2.2 pounds of battery weight. This should be enough for 288 EPA miles, plus the 660-pound pack supports fast charging in 15 minutes. The company plans to build just 61 Fulminae units, all of which will be assembled and crafted in Modena. Help us advance the electric revolution by smashing the like button and making sure that you watch till the end. Thanks for your support, and let's get back to the show. Elation Freedom This pure carbon fiber luxury EV is being developed by the California-based startup Elation Hypercars, and according to the company, it will be the first model in the class to be fully hand-built in America. The hypercar relies on a carbon fiber monocoque chassis with the exceptional torsional rigidity and a double wishbone titanium suspension inspired by Formula One cars. Coupled with the extremely aerodynamic bodywork, it allows the freedom to produce up to 2 g's of lateral acceleration when cornering. In a standard configuration, the model comes with three electric motors delivering 1,427 horsepower. For those not quite impressed, Elation offers an additional motor that traces the output to 1,903 horses. These are fed by a 100 kWh T-shaped structural battery integrated into the monocoque. You can also opt for a bigger 120 kWh pack 
and enjoy almost 400 miles on a single charge. Pininfarina Batista When you look at the specifications, this is basically a technological twin of the Rimat Snifera. The two share the carbon fiber chassis with double wishbone coilover suspension, quad motor 1900 horsepower powertrain, and 120 kWh battery with 280 miles of juice. Naturally, the Batista also possesses the capability to cover 0 to 60 sprints under 2 seconds, but it is electronically limited to 217 miles per hour. Unlike the Croatian counterpart, this hypercar was infused with the Italian design language, which is reflected in the Ferrari inspired exterior. The company promises the final hand assembly to take place in Turin. And to emphasize the exclusiveness of the first Italian e hypercar, only 150 Batistas will be built. Moreover, five of those will belong to even more exotic, hand painted Anniversario edition that honors the coach builders' 90 years on the market. Aspark Owl This Japanese EV startup was initially met with skepticism since its claimed record-breaking performance was demonstrated at a shady parking lot. However, after securing a 50 units production deal with the Italy's Manufattura Automobili Torino and establishing a network of dealers in both Europe and North America, the prospects of the OWL begin to seem rather promising. The final configuration of the model gets four motors and a 64 kWh battery, yielding a total of 2012 horsepower and 1,480 pound-feet. MAT claims that it has already done 1.72 seconds 0 to 60 sprint with one foot rollout, while the top speed is capped at 248 mph. Unless the competitors catch up, these figures will make the Aspark Owl the world's quickest production automobile. This car rides on a double wishbone suspension at each corner, the body is nearly entirely made of carbon fiber, and the stopping power comes from massive carbon ceramic discs. Hispano Suiza Carmen Up until 1940s, Hispano Suiza was among the most recognizable names in the automotive industry. Its rise to fame was halted by the Second World War, but now, almost a century later, the company makes a triumphant return to the market with an electric hypercar. Named after Carmen Matteo, the granddaughter and mother of the former and current Hispano Suiza president, the model was inspired by the 1938 Dubonnet Senya. It features a carbon fiber monocoque chassis with low center of gravity and a T-shaped 700 cells lithium polymer battery. The Carmen gets its power from two electric motors with 1000 through 1100 horses of output. It has the top speed of 150 mph and 0 to 60 time of under 3 seconds. The company plans to build only 20 plus units of Carmen, five of them in a more exclusive Boulogne variant that gets more carbon fiber elements and a black paint with copper accents. Draco GTE Established in 2013, the Silicon Valley automotive startup continues the journey of delivering its 25-unit limited production super sedan. Offered in regular and track editions, the Model Sets 4 has an elongated hood with a Dodge Viper vibe and packs a set of high-end components like a 4-way adjustable all in suspension, carbon ceramic Brembo brakes, and Michelin tires. On the drivetrain front, the GT impresses with four and wheel electric motors that generate 1200 horsepower and 6490 pound feet of wheel torque. The motors power each wheel individually and use a proprietary Draco Drive OS that enables torque factoring. This ensures superior drivability and handling in challenging performance situations, while at the same time, ensures exciting acceleration, superior cornering, and 206 mph speeds. The GT offers six road surface driving modes, while its 90 kWh battery pack supports recharging at 150 kW. Hyperion XP1 Due to the overly ambitious performance numbers and lack of auto manufacturing expertise, the project by the California technology company Hyperion Motors, led by Angelo Cafentaris, was initially met with a fair share of eyebrow racing. Nevertheless, the XP1 hypercar appears to be on track with the development, 
testing its powertrain on the streets of Las Vegas and across Nevada deserts. Instead of relying on a battery pack, its four motors all-wheel drive system works with ultra-capacitors that buffer the output of a hydrogen fuel cell and a three-speed transmission. The creators promise 1,000 miles of range, which is a courtesy of a bulletproof hydrogen tank with five minutes refueling capability. The construction of the Hyperion megacar includes a carbon titanium monocoque chassis, V-wing doors, active aero components that also act as solar panels, and a 134-inch glass canopy. Weighing just 2,275 pounds, Hyperion quotes 2.2 seconds zero to 60 and 220 miles per hour top speed. Neo EP9. The story of EP9 began half a decade ago, when the young Chinese startup had not yet become one of the hottest stocks in the EV industry and a poster child for the innovation coming from the People's Republic. Till this day, Neo is one of the fastest supercars in existence, with a terrific lap time of 6 minutes and 45 seconds at Nürburgring. The car has a maximum output of 1,341 horsepower, demonstrating 2.7 seconds zero to 60 acceleration and 195 miles per hour top speed. All of this is possible due to the combined efforts of four electric motors fueled by two swappable batteries, good for 265 miles of range. The production cap for the EP9 was set at 16 units, 10 for the general public and 6 for the startup founders and investors. Racer Tachyon Under development since 2012, the Racer Tachyon Speed is now being tested in its street legal prototype form. Exterior-wise, this model is definitely a member of the modern breed of electric hypercars. It boasts a carbon fiber aerodynamic body with four non-adjustable front wings and an adjustable rear wing. Instead of getting the usual combo of two or four propulsion units, the car relies on six direct drive e-motors that develop 1,250 horsepower and staggering 3,650 pound-feet of peak torque. When it eventually comes out, the Tachyon is expected to accelerate from 0 to 120 mph in less than 7 seconds, while its top speed will exceed 240 miles per hour. To keep the car under 3,000 pounds, Razor chose not to install a huge battery, so the car will have to make do with a smaller pack promising just 150 miles of city range. Putting the environmental issues aside, we have to admit that internal combustion technology has reached the end of its road, simply because it cannot keep up with the electric powertrains in terms of acceleration, efficiency and power outputs. So make sure to put the final nail in the coffin of ICEs by smashing the like button, leaving a comment below the video and subscribing to Automotive Territory. More electrified content is on the screen. May the torque be with you!